hello lovelies welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be making this lovely um ruffle shoulder um gada style <laughs> please watch to the end and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed thank you to my old subscribers and i'll see you at the end of this video welcome if this is your first time of stopping by i say welcome you are highly welcome please hit on the subscribe button join the growing family to my old subscribers i say thank you for all your support i can see them and i really appreciate it from the depth of my heart thank you very much so for this video i'll be starting by folding my fabric into four and you can I, you can see at the end of the fabric i have extra one inch allowance for my um zipper uh, for my zip so i'm going to cut the back and the front together and then i marked my half length which is 11 inches plus one inch allowance for joining of the shoulder and the down part of the style and that's why i am just marked and then the next thing i'm going to do that's from the center front you look at it where i just touched from the center front and not from the zipper allowance i'm going to go ahead and mark my shoulder measurement i marked 3.5 inches for the um width 3.5 inches for the width then for the length i marked um 5 inches downward for the length And then I made a kind of a V curve to meet the um, the neckline. I'm cutting the back neckline and the neck by um, front neckline the same length. So I made a V curve, a V like a slant, slanted line to meet um, the back one, going through the front one. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and mark my shoulder measurement, which is 12 inches divided by two. And that same 12 inches divided by two, which is six inches, is what I'm going to go down with for my armhole depth. And that's where I just marked. So at my armhole depth, I'm going to take my um, bust measurement, which is 25 divided by two, by four, I'm sorry. Then I added my allowance, my sewing allowance. I think I added about two inches. You can reduce or you can increase it. Then I marked also my waist measurement which is 26 divided by 2 children most times don't need um, that because of their tummy most times it's bigger than their um, bust then I marked my I connected my armhole line curved my armhole um, depth and I also wanted it to have a little bit of more curve at the armhole that's why I curved what I just saw then for the shoulder slope I went down by 1 inch and I marked it and connected it to the neckline and that's all for the marking of the bodies i hope you are enjoying this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do not leave today without subscribing join the growing family give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share my videos please share my videos thank you very much for supporting me i really appreciate you So the next thing I did is to cut this fabric into two that I have two of the front. If you have lining, you can use your lining to do this. But because I do not have lining, I decided to use my fabric to do this. So I had to cut the front into two and then back into two as well. And then where I just showed is where you're going to stitch down to turn the neckline. That's the neckline and the armhole. You turn and um, stitch both of them down, including the back one. And then um i'm going to go ahead to my sewing machine machine to turn this to stitch this down and this is this after stitching the um fabrics down i'm going to notch it especially that part i'm notching now then notch all around including the armpit and then turn it to the front And I'll do the same thing for the back. I'm going to notch this, turn it to the back, then iron both of them down to lay flat and nice for the for the station of the 
other part of it so this is it after ironing both the front and the back you see it's laying well and um, flat and it's, it's going to be easier for you to manage now so the next thing i'm going to do is to join the two shoulders together arrange them well making sure that i don't have the armhole at the neckline please don't make that mistake um then stitch them down and this is it after stitching the shoulders the two shoulders down so the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out cut out the down part of it so for the front part i have um 51 inches i have about 50 inches that's um, divided into two, about 15 inches for the front then for the back i added one more inch allowance for the um for the zipper that's 51 50 inches divided by two plus one more inches um, for it for the back one because the back one is two because of the zipper allowance at the middle so i cut it out so i got out the down part and i um the upper part and then i uh, so uh, stitch the rough edges so they got to gather the bound down the upper part i run a loose stitch on it and then um and then pull on one of the trays on it that's what i did and this is it after gathering it so this is one of the down the back one and now i went ahead to do the same thing for other parts So the next thing I'm going to do is to arrange the bodies and then place the gathers to the bodies and stitch it down. That's the front one, the back one, and the two backs to on the bodies and then stitch it down just like I'm showing you. So after stitching the gathers down to the bodies, the next thing I'm going to do is to arrange the two the bodies together and use my pin to secure the zipper allowance. Allowance. I do not want to stitch this down yet because I wanted to add the ruffle before um, stitching this down. So after um, holding the two the zipper to, zipper allowance together, I'm going to go ahead to stitch down the two sides with my measurements. The two sides with my measurements. And this is it after stitching the two sides together. So the next thing I'm going to do is to remove the pin pins from the zipper allowance and then measure for the ruffle so for the ruffle it went that it went from the one side of the armhole to the shoulder and then to this back side so i'm going to start from the back to measure it under the armhole to the neckline and then to the shoulder and then to the other side of the back and for the measurements i did not i started about one inch away from the zip and um, i didn't add measure it into the zipper allowance i hope you understand what i'm trying to say just follow the tape the way i'm measuring it that's how you are going to measure your own and i got about 28 inches for this and then i doubled the measurement so the what i had was about um, um 64 inches for the length of the gathers that i use i have um, 64 inches so that's 64 inches is what i'm going to use to do this and also lay it flat for you to see another way to for an, an easier way for you to measure this and so this is the second way to measure it as well
so the next thing i'm going to do is to fold in the rough edges of the of it before gathering for before the gather process so i'm going to go ahead and stitch this together and then gather the upper part of it and this is it when i'm done with the gather i'm going to go ahead and attach this to the um to the gown so i'm going to attach it using front side facing the front side and then i started attaching it. and for this back side i started about one inch down from the from the armhole or 1.5 inches and then one about one inch away from the zipper allowance then i'm going to pin it together then take it to the wash my sewing machine and sew it exactly the way i measure it, the line i follow to measure it that's what i'm going to sew it down with that from my armhole towards the neckline and then to the shoulder and then to the back i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up after watching give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel so after st stitching this down the next thing i did is to sew to stitch down my zipper allowance and then attach my zip and that's all for this time please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel please if you haven't subscribed thank you very much for supporting me and share my videos to family family and friends and i will see you in my next video bye bye